Ladies and gentlemen, we have with us today Dan Balmer, guitar legend of the Northwest Pacific of uh, the United States. I've just moved here to Portland myself, and uh, everyone I've talked to, all they talk about is Dan Balmer. And uh. so it's an honor and a pleasure to have him here today. We're going to play some music. We're going to talk. Uh, Dan not only is an amazing performer and writer, uh, he's also done a lot of teaching in uh, every professional situation possible. So I'm going to learn something about jazz today because that's the uh, area where Dan has a lot of expertise, but certainly he plays a ton of other styles. And let's get right into it. Dan, hello. Hello. Good to meet you. Good to be here. Welcome to the Pacific Northwest. Welcome to Portland. <laughs> it's, it's good to have you here. Wonderful to be here. Thank wow, you so much. That's exciting. Yeah. That's the chord of the 70s. <laughs> that was the chord of the 80s. You couldn't have the Bee Gees without that chord. Is that right? So I would take that and I would take, you know, B flat. Try and learn. And just spend time in Mixolydian yeah. land. Six, eight. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. So it's sort of got a hypnotic major because of that. Kind of got a feeling of like a clock ticking away. But so soloing against those scales. thing you should be able to do, I think, is, you know, you should be able to take the key of C and know that the chords go C, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished, if you can find a way to play it. I was working in the yard today, I apologize, my fingers are dirty. Well, you can't play that, though, because that's, it's missing that's something? got the seventh. Oh, it's got the so I'm just so that's a half diminished so, chord. So that's a more full expression of the diminished triad. Oh, so than we have. Talking, it's pure that's triad. Pure yeah. triad. Yeah. But so that's because that's what you would do if you were a singer songwriter. Yeah. And so a great thing to do is to just try and make up jams. So if I was so like when I'm accompanying somebody when I'm teaching, if I had just taught you the C major pentatonic, mm -hmm. I'd say, well, go ahead and play us a solo in the C major pentatonic, and I just and I just make up progressions my key of C major, and I start to see how these chords interact. So I'm not playing a song, you know, I'm just using the chords in C major. Thank you. 
I mean, that's, I'm just playing around the key of C major, and I'm yeah. playing all these things that sort of sound familiar. So I think a good idea is to at least get conversant in one key and, and be able to, to play that key from memory and just fool around with how those chords sound and how they interact. And that, you know, that, so that's a way to get into the chord scale. Yeah, it's killing. 